today topic is inverse matrix of a square matrix so today we are going to see uh, definition of inverse and according to the, uh, and two theorems okay from the two theorems you are going to obtain the formula for inverse so first we'll see the definition a b the square matrix of order n then there exists a square matrix B of order N such that AB is equal to BA is equal to IN. Then B is called the inverse of A. So the product of these two matrices should be the identity matrix. Then B is called the inverse of A. This is the important result for inverse. Okay. And the theorem now, if a square matrix has an inverse, then it is unique that means or square matrix ke inverse irundadna ore ore inverse da irukum and the theorem that we are going to see now so i am going to take uh, two inverses for a square matrix so engra matrix ke if possible b and c are the inverse of a appa b and c has to satisfy the inverse property so a b is equal to b a is equal to i n c is also is the inverse of a so i have taken like that so c also has to satisfy the inverse property so i am getting a c is equal to c a is equal to i n now i consider c c can be written as c into i n you know any matrix if it is multiplied with the identity matrix you will get the same so c can be written as c into i n in the place of i n you can write a b so a b is equal to b a is equal to i n we have got that result so i am using in the place of identity matrix a b okay uh, matrix multiplication is associative so i am associating c and a so here i have associated c and a look at this what is ca ca is the identity matrix so in the place of ca i have written identity matrix into b so any matrix which is multiplied by the identity matrix you will get the same so your answer is b now what you obtained c you have started finally you have obtained b so c is equal to b what is c and b they are the inverses of a Finally, we obtain they are same. So, and the theorem is, if a square matrix has an inverse, then it is unique. Okay. So, instead of B, um, we can write the inverse of the matrix A is denoted by A inverse. Instead of denoting B and C, we always, we should have the unique denotion. So, inverse of the matrix A is denoted by A inverse. So, it has to satisfy the inverse property. This is the important result in the inverse. A into A inverse is equal to A inverse into A is equal to I n. This is the important property in the inverse. So now we are going to see the next theorem. Look at this. Let A be the square matrix of order n. Then A inverse exists if and only if A is non-singular. I'll read again. A, A inverse exists if and only if A is non-singular. You know very well about if and only if. If and only if means we have to prove in both the uh, ways. So first we have to consider A inverse exists. You have to prove A is non-singular. Then uh, conversely, you have to assume A is non-singular. Then you have to prove A inverse exists. So two ways you have to prove it. So from this theorem, we are going to obtain the inverse of A formula. Okay, first I, I consider A inverse exists. If A inverse exists, na, you, it has to satisfy the inverse property. So we know that A into A inverse is equal to A inverse into A is equal to I n. Okay, now I am going to apply the determinant for this. So, instead of writing the symbol vertical lines, I used uh, DET. So, determinant of A, A inverse is equal to 
okay determina determinant of a inverse a which is equal to determinant of i n okay here i have consider only determinant of a a inverse so determinant of a a inverse by, uh, by the product rule of determinants have you remembered determinant a b is equal to determinant a into determinant b that is the product rule of determinants so here i have used so determinant a determinant a inverse in the same way for this determinant a inverse determinant a and here for this determinant i n okay so i have taken these three results determinant a determinant a inverse which is equal to determinant a inverse into determinant a which is equal to what is the determinant value of i n i n gra the identity matrix so for example 1 0 0 1 while you are taking the determinant value for this it is 1 okay so now you see that determinant a into determinant a inverse is equal to 1 means determinant means it's a value the product of uh, any two value was 1 uh, either none uh, none of the uh, none of the values will not be zero so determinant a that is denoted by uh, within the vertical lines which is not equal to zero so determinant value not equal to zero means the matrix is non singular so one part i have proved that is what it is if a inverse exists it is non singular so first part is over conversely i am going to the second part for that i am going to take a is non singular so consider a is non singular so i am going to consider the result Uh, the previous class result a into a j is equal to a j into a is equal to determinant a into i so we know the result yesterday i have told this so divided by determinant it is a value so we can divide so on the values i have written here a in the place of a j i am going to divide the determinant value so 1 by determinant a into a j so the same way i have here also i have done 1 by determinant a into a j into a so in the third part determinant a by determinant a is 1 so it is i now i consider 1 by determinant a into a j as b now what you are going to get here a this i have denoted as b okay so a b here i have written b so b a is equal to i so it is the property of inverse so we can say b is the inverse of a instead of b the inverse of a is denoted as a inverse so a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant a into a j this is the formula for finding inverse of the square matrix a so the formula is a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant a into a j now you are going to see the exercise 1.1 second problem okay find the inverse if it is exists of the following i have considered the first subdivision so it what is asked inverse is asked so first you have to consider this matrix as a and you are going to write the formula see the formula a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant a into a j so you know very well how to find the determinant value of the 2 by 2 matrix so you have to write within the vertical lines all the entries has to be written within the vertical lines determinant value how to find for 2 by 2 matrix is you have to multiply the main diagonal elements so minus 2 into minus 3 is plus 6 so next you have to write minus and you have to multiply the sub diagonal elements 1 into 4 is 4 so 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 here you have to mention it is not equal to 0 because singular matrix we can't find inverse so only for the non singular matrix only inverse can be obtained so you have to write a inverse exists so in this formula we have found determinant a what is needed a j so yesterday class i have explained about how to find the uh, a joint of a for the 2 by 2 matrix i have used a shortcut have you remembered you have to do the two steps the first step is interchange the main diagonal elements i have interchanged and change the 
sign of the subdiagonal element so here i have written so i have found determinant a and a j so the formula you have to substitute to find inverse apa a inverse is equal to 1 by what is the determinant value is 2 so i have written 2 then a j a j is a matrix so you have written like this okay this is the way you have to find the inverse now you consider the 3 by 3 matrix how to find the inverse the same formula so here i am going to explain only determinant a so you have to expand by r1 so you know very well you have studied in 11th standard so take the first element and delete the first row and the first column so it will be 25 minus 1 so the very important thing you have to remember is while going for the second element you have to change the sign so i have written minus 1 and delete the second row uh, second column and the first row so it's 1 into 5 is 5 5 minus 1 plus the third element 1 into delete the first row and the third column so 1 into 1 is 1 1 minus 5 so you have found the uh, determinant value then you are going to find the aj so it's a 3 by 3 matrix so yesterday class it is explained so first you have to go for the cofactor of a using the rough column you have to find it and you will get this answer aj you have to go for aj means cofactor matrix has to be transposed here i have uh, written the transpose rows and columns has to be interchanged idla in this uh, another cofactor and the aj they are same so i have written as it is but here for remaining problems you have to transpose it and you have to substitute in the formula so formula 1 by determinant a apa 1 by determinant a value is what 112 so i have written here a j a j is written in this way you have to find the inverse of the matrix thank you students